Yeah! Yes! The new iMacs are out today. Because they took the new Retina iMac and they made it $200 cheaper and they made a slightly more inferior model that isn't as good but a little bit more affordable. Um, they used to only have the model that was like $2,300. Now there's a model that's, that's just $2,000 but it has a crappier CPU and a crappier um, GPU. And then the main thing that we want to talk about today is these uh, awesome, awesome uh, new... Uh, Retina 15 inch uh, IMAX. So they finally brought the new TrackForce technology. Um, they have two models that came out. Uh, the uh, $2,000 um, 2.2 gigahertz quad core Intel i7 with turbo boost 3.4, 16 gig RAM base, 256 PCI based flash uh, storage, and Iris Pro for 2000. Or you can get their, their uh, higher end model for 2500 that has the 2.5 gigahertz quad core with um, I had the i7 with well, 3.7 gigahertz boost, 512 SSD, 16 gigabyte RAM, and the new R9 uh, 370X graphics, which is supposed to be pretty good, supposed to be better, but nobody really knows how much better it's going to be. There really aren't a lot of benchmarks on it yet. Um, but if you guys go ahead and subscribe, I am going to get you guys the latest news on that. Um, I'm looking all around on the forums, trying to get as much information as I can so I can give you guys an informed uh, scoop about it. Um, I'll put links down below here so you can take a look so you'll, you'll know exactly uh, what Apple's offering. Uh, but yeah, new revamped iMacs uh, that are a little bit, you know, cheaper than Retina 1 to allow people to purchase it better. Um, for those who want the new Retina screen, you can't blame them. It's pretty good. Um, and then there's also going to be, like I said, the new 15 inch uh, MacBook Pros, which just have the latest technologies because they kind of lagged behind when they, when they released the 13 inch. They had all the newest technologies, and now they finally brought it to the 15-inch with a new graphics card. Um, and again, for a, the range is, the price range is from $2,000 to 2500 So you're paying a lot, but the MacBook Pro is for the pros. Are you a pro? Go ahead and subscribe right now, and I'll get you guys more information on it. Thanks, guys. Cheers.